Just a quick video here on Polaris prop shafts. This is on the Ranger 570, full size. Um, replacing the prop shafts, been hearing a lot of noise going on, and uh, this one has got quite a bit of excessive slop. Hear that? That's the noise I've been hearing. That's all in the U joints, and I also have had a lot of slop in the yoke in the rear where it goes into the transmission. I could take this and grab the drive shaft and it would wobble up and down probably about yay far. Good quarter inch of slop. So I thought, you know, um, I'll just go ahead and replace this prop shaft. The yoke is worn, you know. And I'm looking and inside this new yoke there is no o-ring in there to prevent Put a flashlight on it. There's no o ring. Whereas the old 800s, 700s, 800s, as I recall, had an o ring in the top here that would stop water from going into your U joint or into your slip yoke. I mean, granted, you still had grease coming out this end when you greased them, they have a grease circ on it. But there's nothing to stop water and snow from getting in here except for grease. Grease it, grease it, grease it. The other thing was, <clears throat> I was looking at these U-joints. And maybe Polaris U-joints have always been like this, but there is no seal on Polaris U-joint that I can see. I mean, unless it's an internal U-joint or internal seal, but most U-joints you buy have a seal on the outside. And when I replace these, usually there is a seal right right here. Um, if this ever happens again, I'll probably just replace the U-joint with a Precision 338 U-joint. That'll fit these from Napa or wherever you want to buy them. But uh, these not being sealed up, I don't understand what, what their goal is with that. At least I can say uh, the drive shafts now... They are in phase. Um, when you look down them, the yokes, and you can't tell with this picture, but the yokes are lined up so that you don't have a drivetrain wobble like they had in some of the earlier models um, or a vibration. Um, so anyway, just wanted to point that out on these Polaris drive shafts. If you've got a U-joint issue, I think you might be better off just putting the, the P338 U-joint in here with a grease zerk keeping it greased and make sure you keep this yoke greased because there is nothing to keep water from getting in there and uh, starting some rust issues. So that's all I wanted to share on these.